Hi again, everyone, and welcome back to the Good Brothers YouTube channel. This is a little bit off the cuff, this one, because I've just had this fantastic little gift box delivered to me. Um, I've been really lucky to get to know a lot of fantastic winemakers and producers over my 20 odd years of working in wine. Uh, but one of my best mates is a guy called Dean Lapthorne. He is the Italian Australian who works for Ferrari. Now, Ferrari are an amazing sparkling wine producer based in the north of Italy in the Trento DOC. Uh, region. So if you think about the, the Austrian border, um, it's right up there in the mountains in sort of Dolomites area. Beautiful, beautiful area. Huge amount of history within the Ferrari family. Um, they were the original people who smuggled in Chardonnay grapes in uh, 1906 into, the, into to Italy before these guys French grapes were not allowed. Uh, they make sparkling wine in a champagne method or traditional method. They can't call it a champagne method now because otherwise the champagne guys have a hissy fit. And they really do because this stuff is as good if not better than champagne. Um, it is uh, the Blanc de Blanc, so obviously 100% Chardonnay. They have a little bit of Pinot Noir up there as well, which they make some Pinot Neros, um, but it is stunning. Second fermenting bottle, like, just like champagne. It's got texture, it's got a huge amount of aging on it, so it's about six or seven years of Lee's aging. Now, the reason why Dean has sent this to me, and this is completely unexpected, I literally had it arrive in the post uh, about 10 minutes ago, um, is that this year, for those of you who are into your F1 racing, Ferrari have taken over the sponsorship of all of the winner podiums. So whenever you see, historically, someone spraying a magnum of mum, or whatever it might have been, from now on, you see Ferrari. Really, really fantastic for them. Um, it is, a stunning, stunning wine. We're gonna have a little taste of it now and, and talk through it. But actually, I think Chef's got me some food as well. So uh, we thought we'd actually pair this up with a bit of food. So Drew, you got there? Thanks, mate. Uh, so Drew's put together our house uh, trio of um, sashimis um, and, uh, not sashimis, ceviche. ceviche, that's the one. Told you this off the cuff. Um, so we've got a sea trout, a sea bream and a salmon all um, all uh, cured in uh, lime uh, with a crispy um, sea bream skin. Yeah. There we go. Uh, heritage tomatoes uh, and nasturtiums uh, and radishes. It is absolutely fantastic. Um, one of the things we want to do more with the channel is actually looking at how we pair food and wine together. Make it a little bit more relevant to the, to the everyday. Instead of me just what, going on about the amazing wines I drink and what you should be drinking or what I think you should be drinking, it's about matching things together. So here we've got three different types of uh, ceviche fish uh, and actually a high acidity Blanc de Blanc champagne style wine is absolutely ideal. I'm just gonna have a little taste here. So salmon, mm. Wow, that was watermelon, that wasn't salmon. Oh, here we go, some salmon. Lovely and fresh, we've got lovely lime acidity, the oiliness there. Now in this, you're gonna have quite a bit of, of, of acidity coming through, really nice texture, a bit of biscuity notes. Oh, that works amazing. That's fantastic. So you've got the, the length and depth of the, of, the, of the wine, lovely fresh fruit coming through, acidity, acidity, and then the oiliness in that fish. That is a brilliant, brilliant match. Now, ceviche is a tough one because you have all that lime and lemon acidity coming through, which, do, which really damages a lot of wine. So you want something that has a high level of natural acidity in the wine, or, you want something that's got a lovely sense of, of depth to it. Something like Viognier's, uh, Marsans as well. I would tend to avoid most reds with ceviche just because the acidity battles against the tannins. Um, but that's a fantastic pairing. A, a trio of, of ceviche with the Ferrari. Um, it's actually the Maximum Brut. Uh, not this, because I'm seeing this for a very special occasion now. Thanks, Dino. Um, fantastic. Well, stay tuned, we'll do some more food, food tasting in the future. But until next time, remember, drink better wine and better food. Take care.